So tonight was a lot of first, the first home game of the season, first goal for Robbie Ewer, and the first clean sheet of the season. How do you feel? Pleased for the lads. We've been challenged in recent weeks and you know, some of the goals that we've lost and we want to try and improve and that's not something we were surprised about. We knew we had some different challenges in certain aspects of defensive moments going against senior players, some of the guys for the first time um, coming from under 18s. So it's not something that surprises. But the biggest bit for tonight, obviously you're always naturally pleased that the guys have won the game. I'm so pleased for the, the defensive unit, so pleased for Luis Bernauskas, who obviously was a little bit frustrated by the, the, the free kick over at um, Civil Service, but I look at his save tonight, which was phenomenal. It's a world-class save. I look at some of the other saves that had to make off corner kick scenarios, um, second phase. I look at Lewis McKinnon, first contacts in the box when he's really been pressurised against good attacking threat. Conor Allen the same again, and other lads picking up second and third days. So I'm so pleased that we've kept a clean sheet. You know, if we'd lost, if we lost a goal to go 3 1, there would have been a frustration in there. Um, we've had to defend tonight, we've had to do that, we've had to be mature, and had a lot of control at different points, but I'm so pleased they managed to keep a clean sheet as well to make sure we've seen it out. Watching Rangers be this season would be a, a delight for most neutrals. As a coach, though, you must really enjoy having just a a 3-0 up the road, three points. Yeah, but again, it's not a 3-0 that was a comfortable one. I think that's important as well. I thought at the start of the first half, we were a little bit slow in finding a rhythm. I thought we were a little bit impatient. You know, the Spartans defended quite deep. They made it difficult and made the spaces quite uh, hard to find. But we've got a responsibility to, to trust how we want to play. So those that have been you know, challenged to play in those small spaces, we need to find them. They need to play quickly, um, but not be too frustrated to come out of those areas and, and be impatient. So I thought once we got the first goal, I thought eventually we, we showed that we can play the way we want to play, play under pressure, threaten the back line, um, but not rush to get to the end point. And I think that was the message at half time. We had to be a little bit more mature, um, have control, play our half, play in their half. But when we think it's right to go and hurt them, then, then we go and do that. And some of the, obviously the goals again that we've scored, um, you know, show that, that in a good light. But again, I'll go back to it. That was that was a good part of the maturity part, but the, the street wise, the the being competitive, which we had to be at the right moments to defend the goal properly, the willingness to cover distance to get back into areas of the pitch to make sure we seen out the, the, the clean sheet was, was probably one of the most pleasing parts as well. Two changes made ahead of tonight's game, was that through rotation pro uh, reasons or well, Alex Lowry is a first team player effectively, so um, we were asked to give him some time to try and build his, his minutes up, so he's closer to minutes when, when required from the first team. So, but when you get a chance to play Alex Lowry, you're not going to, um, that's not going to be something you complain about. We know what talent the, the guy's got, so it's great to have him back in the, the, the squad, but hopefully it's not for too long because we want to see him back closer to the competing for first team places. Um, thereafter, it's, you know, yeah, but listen. We've got good players that, that won't always start, unfortunately. That's just the way the way this works. Charlie Lindsay um, has come out, he's been doing really well. Um, it's one of those ones where it's, it's, he has to be patient at times as well, but he's been a, a good he's a good start to the season. We spoke to him before the game. That certainly wasn't a performance. This was this was based on which you felt it was right for this game to play a, a slightly different way. And uh, unfortunately he was the one that missed out. You spoke about uh, Alex Lowry just there. That sort of midfield dynamic was clearly uh, obvious in the first half where he would drop deep, uh, even as deep as the centre backs, and as far as maybe even the strikers. How does having that sort of dynamic? Um, how does Mackenzie Strachan sort of more um, focus on getting the interceptions rather than looking for the pass necessarily? How does his role help um, Alex Lowry and Charlie McCann? Well, Alex Lowry, <laughs> we didn't really want Alex to drop quite as deep as what he did at times, and that's a conversation we had with him because. He just naturally wants on the ball, but there's also a bit of feeling of we want him in places and areas of the pitch that he can hurt opposition more. Therefore, we do generally want him to stay a little bit higher. So we've had that conversation with him. It's not to say he can't retreat out of that, that area because that's normal for us to move into different positions and, and work freely together. Strax brings a little bit of security that, that we want others to be allowed to flourish and play if we know that he's going to give us that little bit behind us so that we can go and do that, so we can pick up scraps and or if, if not the, the Regan moments, but actually come back out of the pressure and play around the shape, which tracks and go, go and do that as well. So, yeah, he's finding that role within the team. I think his last few performances have been at a high level, so his chance to try and maintain that. He did start last season really well, so it's his chance to try and keep that going longer. Ross McCausland was back amongst the goals after scoring at the weekend also. How does his uh, sort of ability to switch between wings so effortlessly help the team? It's just his strength. He's, he's, he's an attacking threat. He's a good football player. He's, he's got a freedom to 
to go and have, a, have the impact against the back line where he sees the opportunities. Now, there are some moments we ask him to be a little bit more restricted in his position for certain reasons, and parts of that did happen tonight, but we did move him a little bit uh, during the particularly second half where he came over to play more of a left 10. But he's got the ability to deceive and play in tight spaces, he's got the ability to take people in a 1v1 moment, um, and he's certainly got an attacking threat, a sort of goal threat as well at the same time, so it's a nice mixture to have. We touched upon the defenders just at the start there, but it's actually the third goal of the season where a defender scored from a Lindsay corner or free kick. How does it feel to have a, a sort of outlet like that? Well, I have allocated responsibility for the set place to Graham Smith, so he, he's naturally delighted. He almost claims an assist every time we get a, a goal from those moments. So, um, so yeah, he's, he's, um, it's good that we bring in that attacking threat, knowing that we are going to have to defend properly, but we can also find a way to attack uh, in those set play moments as well and, and carry the threat. So delivery's been much better, and actually the boys that are attacking the box um, are bringing a, bit, a greater threat as well at the same time. This is the last one. Um, sometimes it's easier to look at things a bit more retrospectively. I've uh, noticed that a lot of the time at the end of halves, um, ranges have conceded goals. Are you happy that this is sort of stopped today? And also, did you feel the pressure of that sort of creeping back in? No, I think um, we, we challenge the players to recognise the m momentum within games, the, the, the time within the games, how the, the opposition are trying to challenge at those moments and, and play the game at the right spaces to avoid turnovers, uh, to avoid having to defend at those points. Because if you lose a goal leading up towards half time, it naturally brings a little bit of uh, pressure in, in, in different ways. And you know, even later on in the game, if, if you know Spams has managed to get a goal from one of the many set plays towards the end, then it does change the last the feeling of the last few minutes. So, listen. The different ways you try and manage that through controlling the game, but more than anything else, just defend them properly. And I think as I go back to, it, I think we've done that very well tonight. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.